beautiful rainforests where wild animals frolic in their natural habitat, where flora and fauna flourish amidst this scenic environment. <laughs> but not all is beautiful and cute, for there is one creature, a dark, slimy monstrosity that lurks in the depths of the river. Behold, the leech. Not the leech, but the leech. Leeches are extremely fascinating creatures. Sure, they seem nothing more than blood-sucking worms, but hey, you don't see blood-sucking worms every day. Most of them are hematopagus, meaning that they feed on blood from other organisms, which sounds very scary. Imagine yourself sucking blood for breakfast. That's practically unthinkable. Leeches are related to earthworms and marine worms. One of the most common species of leech that we often talked about would be the buffalo leech, also known as the European medical leech. The exact taxonomy of leeches remains a debate amongst biologists today, to the extent that even most leeches themselves could be classified in two groups. Leeches may have evolved from the class Oligochaetae. However, the classification of systematics is confusing. Should Herodinae be a class itself, or a subclass of Clitolata? It depends on Oligochaetae, which is not a clade. Another possibility would be to include leeches in Oligochaetae, which would then be ranked as a class and contain most clitolates. As Prof Wang mentioned, leeches can be separated into Acanthopdelidae and Euhirodinae, or true leeches, which are divided into Ahinchopdelida and Rinchopdelida. The European medical leech, Herodo medicinalis, belongs to the former in the order Naptopdila or family Herodinidae. The incision mark left on the skin by the European medical leech is an inverted Y circumscribed in a circle. Its North American counterpart is Macrodela decora, a much less efficient medical leech. Some leeches live on land, although most of them live in the water. Hirudo medicinalis, in particular, can be found in Europe and Asia. They prefer muddy freshwater ponds and ditches with a lot of weed in temperate climates. They are not classified into males and females, but they are both hermaphrodites. The use of leeches have been extensively documented since 2000 BC by Roman and Greek physicians. They were extensively used during the medieval ages, where they were used to treat all sorts of infections and diseases, with mixed results. In the 19th century, leeches picked up popularity again, and millions of leeches were raised in the belief that they were a miracle cure-all. Are leeches really the universal medicine as commonly believed? Let's go to a doctor to find out. Leech treatment is commonly used for bloodletting to improve blood circulation and remove blood pooling. The best part of leech treatment is that it is almost totally plain, painless, surmounting to about two to three mosquito bites. Thanks to the powerful painkiller found in the saliva of leeches. As leeches usually suck about 5 to 50 mannol of blood, we tend to use about 10 of them at once. The using of leeches are also environmentally friendly as they can be reused by making them vomit the dirty blood using turmeric powder to agonize them. Now, my apprentice will perform the treatment. Oh, blimey Ranjit, you look like you're in need of leech treatment. Modern applications of leeches in medical treatment have also met with much fanfare by Western doctors. Leech treatment is now acknowledged worldwide and there are practitioners from many different countries such as China, India and Europe. Although more popularly used as traditional medicine, leeches has squirmed its way into our modern Western medicine. We use it rather often to remove blood clot during or after surgery and even as a separate treatment for patients with localized blood clots. For example, during transplant surgery, muscle, skin and fat tissue that is surgically moved from one part of your body to another require leeches to sustain blood flow to the area. Leeches are also the ideal therapist for blood circulation disturbances ultimately treating diseases such as thrombosis, hemorrhoidin, myocardial infarction, impact accumulations, and tinnitus. The advantage of using leeches to remove clots as compared to conventional surgical means is that the process is more natural, less messy, 
and less likely to harm the patient. This is because leeches cause minimal invasion by sucking blood externally, whereby hirudin, an anticoagulant secreted by the salivary glands of leeches, are less likely to be rejected by the body or cause side effects like the drug heparin does, but is just as potent. Besides its medicinal properties, leeches have been used to make cosmetic products. The saliva of leeches contain many proteins, lipids, and natural steroid hormones that are beneficial to the skin. They also serve as a source of protein for poorer places, or as professional high-class cuisine in places like Thailand. Another common use of leeches is as fishing bait. Yes, fishes absolutely love leeches. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to catch leeches and subsequently how to use them as fishing baits. The first fundamental step to catching leeches is to be the proud owner of a hairy leg. Leeches absolutely adore hairy legs because hair is an indicator of flesh and flesh is an indicator of blood. Not all leeches suck blood, but the more common ones, such as the buffalo or medical leech, actually do. So this is a leech infested river. You can see the buffaloes on the other side, which leeches actually prey on when they drink the water. We can fish for leeches using a hairy leg. Okay, so uh, here we go. Now take a look at this leech infested pond. I'm going to stick my leg in right now, like this. Oh my god, this is just absolutely disgusting. You wouldn't want to try this at home, I swear it. Have we waited for half a minute? Leeches can suck blood silently without the detection of the host, staying on the host longer and sucking more blood. So after about half a minute, I can take my leg out and hopefully I find some leeches. Ah, there we go. See all the leeches? Now we're gonna remove them. You can easily remove them by using your fingernail to pry open the suction to your skin. And they'll fall off. The wound won't hurt because of the heroin they secrete. Now do take note not to burn it with a cigarette. Apply salt, shampoo, mosquito repellents, or pull the leech off in case it regurgitates its contents onto the wound, resulting in a nasty infection probably 10 times or 100 times worse than the leech itself. Leech bites generally pose no harm to people, although there are a minority of people that are allergic to leech bites. We can store the leeches in earthen pots filled with some water where they stay until they are needed. We have seen the various uses of leeches and their significance to humanity, but not all is bright and sunny. Overharvesting of leeches might become a problem if the usage of leeches keeps on increasing in popularity. We head over to an ecologist to find out more. Besides being naturally preyed on, overharvesting by leech collectors and reduced natural habitats have contributed to their decline. Another factor has been the replacement of horses, their food source, in farming for cattle. As a result, this species is now considered vulnerable by the IUCN. And European medical leeches are legally protected through nearly all of their natural range. They are particularly sparsely distributed in France and Belgium, and in the UK, there may be as few as 20 remaining scattered populations. The largest at Lid is estimated to contain several thousand individuals. Twelve of the areas have been designated sites of special scientific interest. There are small transplanted populations in several countries outside their natural range, including the USA. Despite the threats they face, Leeches are tough critters and will remain so in the face of the rising human threat. These bloodthirsty, vampiric creatures will continue to benefit the human race for a long time to come. Only time will tell what more things leeches have in store for us.